Friday night football from the MCG. Welcome, Anthony Hudson with you. Bit of cloud cover overhead, but thankfully we aren't expecting any rain. The rain is falling hard right now. Going to be pretty scrappy conditions for these players. Alongside me for this match will be Gary Lyon. Welcome, Gaz. Hi, Hanno. Always a pleasure. Tonight, it's Collingwood at home against Geelong. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp. And the crowd are appreciating it. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banners are looking great. Well, we could be in for a scrappy game here. Both sides have been pretty good defensively of late. It's which defensive method stacks up better. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp. And the crowd are appreciating it. I'm really looking forward to seeing how they play today. Of course, Hunter. The captains of both sides make their way to the middle for the coin toss. Collingwood wins the toss. Round 18. Can't wait for this one to begin, and I think the crowd would agree too. They are on the edge of their seats. Grundy won the hit out. Grundy unable to hold on. Parfit didn't mark it. Ablett decides to soccer it. Dahlhaus goes cleverly off the ground and kicks the goal. That will settle his nerves. Gets his first on the ball. Congratulated by his teammates. Won the hit out. Has it now. The ball mopped up. Just goes bang. Finds the loose ball. Hawkins puts on a big hit. The free kick going to Hawkins. Sinks the slipper into it. It's a foot race to get this one. And we'll get a ball up. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? It's a really entertaining game of football. Showing some really good pressure there. Soccer's it through for a goal. Jenkins can put through his first. Celebrating hard. That's two in a row for the Cats. A fast start by the Cats. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. That's a really good team goal. Grundy guides it down. Dangerfield dismisses his opponent with disdain. He just throws that ball. Good mark and looks to send it back. Two, he drives the kick. They can create from this. Gets a handball away. Kicks hurriedly. Main spills it. Gathered by Cox. Taylor dug out the loose ball. Ends up with Stephen. Pushes through with power. Stephen sends one up towards the wing. Manages to keep it in play. Couldn't complete the play. Ball out of bounds. Toss back into play. Slapped away. Henry with a shorthand pass. Put his body on the line. And now we'll have a ball up. One down. Side bottom gets a quick kick away. Mops up the loose ball. Works it across the ground. Stewart takes the mark. He drives it. The ball finds its way out of play. 
Thomas now heading to the bench for a break. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? I'm loving what this game is giving us right now. Getting in the way was Hinkins. Sees off the tackler, gets the handball away. This is Stephen. Dahlhaus gives it to the player running past. Doesn't hold on to the mark. Wins the race to the ball. Just handballs into space. Turned it over. Menegolik with a penetrating handball. Parker pushes his opponent off with one hand. The kick comes close but off the line. Jalal getting out to an early lead. Chris laying up the options now. Plays on to himself. Kicks it out of the defensive 50. A race for the loose ball. Couldn't keep the ball in play. Umpire tosses it in. Rough end with the hit. Langdon goes for territory. Dug out by Hawkins. Brown puts his body on the line. Hits him hard. Slick with the hands. Good mark by May. Uses it now. A chance to gather the ball. Phillips goes for it now. He's excited about that one. Of course, Hunter. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. Collingwood get there first. Hammers it. Here's Duncan. Duncan throws the ball away. Rough air kicks it. Pendlebury looks to get onto the football. Rough air just slaps it down. Beam collects the loose ball. Gets the loose ball. He gives it a ride. Goes wide from behind. Collingwood are still down by a couple of goals. Unsure of their next move. Henderson decides to go to himself. Puts it on the boot. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Selwood drives a low kick. He gives chase to the footy. Jenkins clears the ball for the contest. Stanley was surrounded. He needed to mark it, and he did. Penetrating handball. Moore couldn't hang onto the ball. Parsons going for number one. Look at them celebrate that effort. Geelong got by a couple of goals. Thumps it clear. The loose ball scooped up. Moves the ball by foot. Spent that one before he earned it. Adams slams it onto the boot. Can't take the mark. Picked off the deck. Broomhead rushes with the kick. Intercepts the ball well. Moves it by foot. A quick handball from Guthrie. Stanley missed an opportunity to mark. Dahlhaus finds a way to hang on. Beautiful tackle, Hutto. A great defensive effort. Trelaw gets the handball away. Just gets it onto the boot. Nice hands. 50 metres out. Beam's going for number one. And pumps it through the big sticks. No doubt about it. He's enjoying that goal. Collingwood behind by six. Punched away. He's got the football now. Got the hands free. Has a man running for him. Found a way to keep it alive. Hurried kick. Takes it well. Not long remaining in the opening turn. Duncan with quick hands. Guthrie packing it out of there. 50 metres out. Should be relatively straightforward from here. Move it on. What a huge goal by Dangerfield. Gets his first. His teammates rush over. A handy lead for Geelong. What did you make of the first term, Gaz? Geelong deserved this lead early. They'd want to keep it up if they're going to win this.
Dahlhaus continues to dominate this contest. He is doing everything right. The siren sounds for the start of the second quarter. Punches are clear. Trelaw just gets a boot to it. Picked up by Henry. Wrong foots his opponent. Sweeping handball. A chance for Stanley. Jenkins marks. 45 metres out. You'd expect this one to sail through the middle. He heads for home. Geelong, send one home. He loved that one. Geelong have kicked back-to-back -back goals. A three-goal lead for the Cats. Grundy thumps it clear. He has to hold on to those. Stephen collects it. Barco there to mop up. Stewart picks up the loose ball. It'll be a ball up. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? There's some great skills on display right now. It's a great... Collingwood still within touching distance. Geelong could turn the ball over a lot trying to play aggressively. It's where they turn it over which doesn't make it as dangerous. Doing well to intercept that kick. This is kickable by his standards. Normally a good shot on goal. Look it on. He might kick a goal. Slams it home. He acknowledges the crowd. Just two goals in it. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. Thrashes it. Is in his possession. Off hands. Gets a quick kick away. Goes off the ground. There'll be a ball up. Close to goal. Clears the contest. Dangerfield kicks hurriedly. Doing well with the mark. Parfit goes with the kick. They chase after the loose ball. He gains possession. Good grab there from Main. 25 metres out. Okay. Can he put it through? He's put that one through. He puts through his first goal. Pretty happy with that one. The margin is now under a goal. Thump clear. What a tackle. Coaches love to see that kind of tackling pressure. Duncan got him high there. Ball up calls. What can you tell us, Gaz? This is a classic game you're seeing right now. Barco delivers with a straight drop punt. That's his first. He's excited about that one. That's three in a row for Collingwood. They've taken the lead. Swatson collected by Adams. Releases by hand. Brown quickly under the boot. Nice work for Broomhead. Elects to kick. Ablett just gets it onto the boot. Dahlhaus couldn't snaffle it. The umpire calls for the ball now. Ruffin thrashes it. Dangerfield needs a chance to rest. Appleby gathers it now. Collects the loose ball. Hawkins tucks it into the pocket. Going for goal number one. It's all level here. Players move as they look to provide an option. Gone! What a tackle! Couldn't see off Parfit. Big tackle! Going for goal number one. No luck for him there. And it's a behind. Geelong played by one. Chris with the kick in duties. 
Ends up turning this ball over. Lining up on a bit of an angle here is Elwood. He decides to go for home. Wow! How good was that? Gets some reward for his efforts. Geelong by seven points. Swatson finding the loose ball was Duncan. Langdon cat it lost it. Jenkins finds his man on the move. Picked up now. Goes by foot. Taylor uses the body well. The Cats cab the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Dangerfield hangs on to that one. Almost directly in front here. He drives it towards goal. That one will really lift him. He's absolutely loving it. Why not? He's got a couple now. Starting to get into this game. They get around him after that effort. This is how they can score big, Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. Geelong have failed to get on top of the clearance, but it's how they can turn the ball over that is allowing them to score. He's got the footy in his hands. Ruffin blinks up with a chance to run. Dangerfield might have overworked himself there. Sensed the opportunity and was able to take it. That's number three. He celebrates hard after that. Geelong Flea is now 19. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. It's great to watch Hutto. Plenty of excitement. Ruffin thumped it clear. Decides to soccer it. Tui elects to kick. Takes possession. He makes that kick count. Full cross. Phillips couldn't be happier with that goal. Collingwood closed the gap to 13. Hammers it. Trelaw keeps coming. A chance to reload the attack now. Moved on by Colin Jasney. Henderson takes it strongly. Kicks out of the congestion. A race for the loose ball. He gets another possession. A spearing kick from Duncan. Parsons looks to convert this opportunity. Got boot to ball. Jenkins marks it. 35 metres out. Already kicked a couple of goals. This for number three. A time to celebrate. And don't they get around Jenkins. The margin is 19. Punches are clear. He gets his hands on the footy. Stephen takes a strong mark. Half time and it's Geelong 57 to Collingwood 38. Geelong have had a good first half. I think they'd really love to stamp their authority on this contest in the second. Jenkins leading the ranking points on the ground. The opposition need to get a hold of him. One half of footy down, one to come. Ready to begin proceedings in the second half. Grundy thumps it forward. Well collected on the bounce. Side bottom wants to keep it moving by hand. Oh, what about that? That was really special. That's two now. Finding his feet in front of goals. Beam celebrates with the fans. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. He did really well there and gets the reward.
Geelong can make the most of their ruck dominance. It's one area of their game that seems on top here. Dug out the loose ball. Snaffled up by Henderson. Great mark. Geelong are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Takes the mark. Minigola. A long driving kick. Stanley slowing down now. Might be in need of a rest. Lobs the handball. It's only in the line. Geelong doing well at the moment. Chris with the responsibility of kicking it in. Uses it by foot. Marks now and can send it back. 60 metres out. He takes the shot. Looks like the ball will be coming back. A low stabbing kick. Winning the ball in the air was Adams. Works the ball out of the 50. Open opportunity for Appleby. Stabs at the kick. Side bottom, leading the race to the loose ball. Just put it on the boot. Does well to cut off the kick. Geelong is struggling to maintain the pace of the game. They might need to slow it down and take some uncontested marks to get the game back on their terms. Slams it on the boot. Good mark there. The kick from Phillips. Barco gets on the end of this. Winds up and goes long. A great mark taken there. A piercing kick from side bottom. Terrific mark there. And the mark will be paid. Kick by Barco. Ends up turning this ball over. Puts boot to ball. Guthrie looking to track down the footy with the ball now. He can take off after that handball. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Langdon has resources out wide. Moves the ball along the wing. Takes that one strongly. Decides to kick. The mark is taken by Elliott. Goes for the goals. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Yeah, he's having a real quiet match, Hunter. It's off one. Collingwood reduced the margin. Deciding where to go with the kick in. Looks to move it by foot. Two, he failing to get near it, Gaz. Well, he hasn't had the impact we were expecting. He flicks it over. Henry wins the foot race. The ball spills to Goey. Going for goal number one. Hits the post, and it's a behind. Trouble for Collingwood. They need to kick a few now. Henderson deciding where to go with the kick in. Chose to kick it. We'll have a ball up close to the boundary line. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? I'm liking what I'm seeing at the moment, Hutto. A great game of football. Fantastic tackle. Selwood releases by hand. Stewart just too high with the tackle. An opportunity for a third goal. Managed to get a hand to that one. It's under two goals now. Geelong have actually turned it over more than the opposition, but they haven't allowed that to translate into scores. It's why they're still in front. And the umpire will ball it up. Thumps it clear. Cox going for number one. Miles all round. Collingwood have kicked the last two goals. What a tight game we have here. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score.
Geelong for taking their chances in front of goal. We say it so often, but when you do the simple things right, it goes a long way towards winning. Duncan was taken high in the tackle. Looks up with the kick. Ablett looking a bit sluggish out there. Finds this one all by himself. Parfit with a drilling ball. Takes a nice mark. Chris handballs to no one in particular. Uses the hands instead of the body. And it's a free kick. Broomhead with the mark. Goes with the kick. Doing well to intercept that kick. With a driving kick. Adams found a way to mark that one. He spears the ball. Good mark and looks to send it back. 50 metres out. Jenkins going for a broke now. Finds this and marks well. Scharenberg uses it by foot. Stuck the mitts out there and held on to it. Adams moves it now. Intercepts the ball well. Offs the play on. Stanley puts it on the book. And there's the siren to end the third quarter. The scores are Geelong 58 to Collingwood 53. Geelong walk into three-quarter time with the lead and the confidence they can win this game. Couldn't complete the mark. Gary, does anything stand out in the stats? Collingwood have turned it over too often today. They aren't coping with the pressure. They should try and slow it down and control the ball for a moment. Thanks for that, Gaz. Let's see what this last quarter throws up. They need to get a move on if they're going to win from here. Grundy hurls it away. Releases it under pressure. We'll get a stoppage. The players will be feeling the heat right now. Punched away. Gained some territory. Dahlhouse goes off the ground. Parfit elects to kick. Picks up the loose ball. Dishes it off to a player on the run. The loose ball picked up. Thrashes it. Scharenberg gets the loose ball. Great attack on the ball carrier. Grundy looks in need of a spell. A chance to reload the attack now. Puts it on the boot. Stewart shows some physicality. Applies a bump. Keeps the ball in play. Eventually, the ball goes over the line. Grundy heading to the bench. The ball is coming back into play. Thump by Roughhead. Gathers it now. Releases the handball. And now side bottom. Let him up. Thump clear. We'll have another ball up. Roughhead won the hit out. The umpire will ball it up. Clears the contest. Duncan just put it on the boot. Scoops up the ball. Langdon dug out the loose ball. Phillips heads onto the ground. Hammers it. He wins possession. Beam wins the foot race. Handballs to a teammate on the run. Receives the handball and takes off. Blitzarves couldn't keep his hands on it. A lot of possessions for him. Dugowie with the shot. It looked impossible, but he made it work. His teammates rush over. Collingwood have three in a row. Collingwood are back in front. Ruffin with the punch. The tackle slipped high and results in a free. Goes with the kick. Good body work to win the mark. Henry goes with the kick. Taking a nice grab. 
Harford kicks inside the 50. Hawkins looks to build some momentum with this kick. Elects to kick. Scharenberg doesn't take the mark. I haven't seen him for a while, guys. He needs to find a way into this game. Celebrating hard. The Cats back in front. Thump clear. Duncan now. Side bottom. Hurried kick. He gets above the crowd. 40 metres out. Dugowie will have the shot on a slight angle. He slams it towards goal. The drop pass goes straight between the big sticks. Another goal. He's kicked a couple now. They get around him after that effort. Stanley clears the contest. Rushes with the kick. The mark is taken by Dalhouse. 50 metres from home. A chance to steal the lead right here. That is a stunning goal. Pretty happy with that one. Geelong goes back into the lead. Thrashes it. Practicing some fancy moves. Pendlebury drives the kick. Adams going for number one. No issues with that drop pass. He's excited about that one. They're in front. That's a really good team goal. It's great to watch, Hado. Plenty of excitement. One thing Collingwood got really good at is getting the ball inside 50 and then locking it in. They're well on top in that area and it shows on the scoreboard. Then a goal uses it by foot. Hawkins with a chance to line up for goal. Not sure if he has the journey from here. He takes aim. The kick towards goal. The scores are tied. Brown gets on the end of this. Looks up with the kick. Chris controlling the airwaves on this occasion. Decides to kick. Side bottom takes the mark uncontested. Side bottom sends one up towards the wing. Hoskin Elliott just landed in his back. Slams it on the boot. Does well to cut off the kick. Adams kicks it. Easily takes the mark. With a driving kick. Goes for territory. Dangerfield gathers it now. Fantastic pressure there. Wins the race to the ball. He lays off the pass. Finds his man. Ablett wins the marking contest. Elected to play on. Taylor coming onto the ground. Now it's a baller. It's very tense at the moment. Grundy with a big fist on it. Movement by hand. Taken by Slenso. That ball comes off the post. Geelong with the ascendancy over Collingwood, leading 72 to 71. Weighing up the options now. Simply outplayed his opponent. Uses it now. Worked hard to get on the end of that. Coughed up by Jenkins. Sharon Burke gives away a free for in the back. They can just slow the game down now, take a bit of time off the clock. He likes his chances from here. Through for a point. Geelong by two points, searching for a teammate. Takes an uncontested mark. Moves it by foot. Adams with the intercept. Clears the ball from the contest. Phillips hunting with authority. Brilliant chase. Chris drops the mark. 
Collingwood just falling short in that one. Well, Gaz, how did you see that match play out? The ability to stand up in the big moments is what decided the result, but what a game it was. Final scores are 73 to 71. That's all the time we have for today. It's been a great day of football, and we'll see you again soon.